welcome everyone joining us this afternoon. Welcome to those joining us online. It's wonderful to be here. My name is Will Glass, Program Director of the Jazz Foundation of America. Um, we've been here every Thursday for a few months, and it's always great to be in the museum. Uh, today is a very special day. Uh, this duo, today a trio, has worked together for several decades. Um, and it includes the great grandmaster, Gene Bertoncini, the, the world's great uh, innovator on the nylon string <laughs> and jazz. He's played with too many greats to mention, from Clark Terry to Chet Baker, and um, I want to keep it short, so I'll just stop there and also add that um, this duo is very special to us at the Jazz Foundation. Um, they were the, the cornerstone band in our long-running partnership with Englewood Hospital and Medical Center, um, which we value dearly um, for all they've done for musicians, and they are one of the many mu musicians that performed in the lobby for many years. So we're really pleased to be here in Harlem with them, joined by the bassist Josh Markham. Um, so please, a warm welcome for Gene Bertoncini and Ronnie Ben-Hur. Thank you. Well, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here, of course, uh, to play with my fellow guitarists. And uh, oh, you're a bass player, aren't you? <laughs> That's fantastic. Josh Markham is a great friend as well as a great bass player. Uh, many years ago, I guess everything is many years ago for me, <laughs> I, I ran into a wonderful uh, a guitar singer from Brazil named João Gilberto. And uh, as it turned out, we became friends. And every time he came to New York, he used to borrow my guitar uh, just to play wonderful concerts, usually uh, at Carnegie Hall, one of those small <laughs> places. <laughs> and uh, so we'd like to start tonight's concert by uh, uh, playing one of one of our favorite tunes that he was famous for called Cocovado.
not long enough, I tell mm. you that. And, uh, and what, what is, I mean, other than the fact that his music is so beautiful, is that he's really, he's jazz, you know, because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what song is going to come out of his head. And he, he doesn't want to commit to anything. Because he wants to wait. He's like, tell all the women. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Bravo, G. That's not you, by the way. About the women or the music? <laughs> <laughs> and your tuner is on there if you need it for the E string. Frank Forte is right here. <laughs> and they, they, when Frank was really involved there, he, he made sure that a lot of jazz musicians got, got help with their bills and medications. And, and I know he's, he's had a number of great artists. Uh, we can name, uh, what was that great singer name? Yeah, it this started with Dizzy Gillespie. Yeah. Hmm? It started with Dizzy Gillespie. It started all with Dizzy Gillespie over there at the at the hospital, Englewood Hospital. This guy, and uh, he's just a great human being. And uh, thanks for coming today, Frank. No, I'm glad <laughs> thanks for being in our corner too, man. Very good thing because, uh, what do you he say? Can you hear him? Plays the drums and has two bands. One of them is a uh, one of them is a rock and roll band, and they do a lot of Beatles songs. And the other one is all gynecologic oncologists, <laughs> three men and two women. The one of them is from Alaska, and they play at the hospital and for other events like that. And, and they made a lot of contributions from whatever they made was played through that program. So we were very fortunate. Um, the other night I saw that in this great hospital that they have called Chastain when they show the legend because I saw the legend because it's a tour of Latin hospital and there was a woman playing a harp in this gigantic auditorium that was also the entrance to the hospital and lo and behold I said you know we had a harp player playing there long before this show was on. Wow. <laughs> That's right. Wow. I didn't hear a thing you said. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> You're falling asleep. I need. I need. Uh, no. I need. Uh, I need uh, hearing your ear, aid. sir. Some hearing aid. Hearing aid. I need. I need a hearing aid. I heard you laugh, and I. And I, 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 know, I know you made some nice noises, <laughs> but uh, thank you, Frank, for being here. Uh, uh, you know, there's many, many sources of, of uh, music. Some of, some of the great music was written for the film. And, and uh, one of my favorite uh, songs written for uh, a movie called The Sandpiper. Uh, and, uh, and it's going to feature a little bit of the arco bass here, which is unusual for, you know, in a lot of areas of jazz to have the bass player play with the bow. And uh, Josh is really great at that. And going to feature him. Featuring, you know, you know you're going to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a song, it's called The Shadow of Your Smile, and it's, uh, and it's for this wonderful film. A and uh, the opening scene of that film is on the Pacific Coast. And uh, I could imagine somebody looking out over the p Pacific, thinking about somebody they miss. And I wrote this little intro for for this wonderful song by Johnny Mandel. Great song, great writer, and uh, a 
Okay, here it is. Henry Mancini.
Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> I recently did an album with uh, the wonderful Nancy Wilson, and uh, it was just me and Nancy, and two other guys, Ron Carter and... Uh, Grady Tate. Grady Tate. And Hank Jones. And, and Hank Jones. And Hank Jones. Oh, oh, oh. Charlie Parker was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Parker was busy. It was such an honor. I, you know, in the, in the music business, you get a little bit of a reputation, and you get calls to do things. And this day, I walked into the studio, and those two guys, or three guys, were there, along with Nancy. And I said, "What, what, what's going on here? I'm in heaven. Oh, this is heaven." And, uh, and I got to play, and uh, and uh, the title of the album is "But Beautiful," and it's a great song, "But Beautiful." One T.
you very much. You want to say anything, James? I don't know what to say, but you know, it's so wonderful that you all have this gift, the appreciation of, of music. There are a lot of people walking out there that don't even know what <laughs> what's going on. I mean, that's okay, they're, they're okay, but I always think, why do I have this desire to work at something like music, and, and why do you have the why, we, why all this uh, gift, it's all a big, big gift, and uh, we should always appreciate that we love something like music, and, and some of us even actually like to get a chance to perform it. Uh, not only we, we get applause, we get love from you back. We enjoy working on the music, then we get love back. Sometimes when an audience is not, not too forthcoming, I say to the audience, uh, 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 applause, applause is like food to the artist. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for a light lunch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That's, that's a joke, please. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell a joke every now and then. I, I just have to do a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm expected to tell a joke. So, so thank you. Thank you all the people involved and and, uh, and having us up here, Thank and uh, Jazz, uh, Jazz Foundation, of America. Jazz Foundation, of course, and uh, I love you. Any, anybody want to take me home? <laughs> I love you. I got Dr. Forte again, Dr. Frank Forte. Josh Markham on bass. <laughs> my, my brother here, Ronnie Ben Hur. Yeah. Right, One more time for Gene Bertensini. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for a lovely performance. Um, thanks again. This is a co-presentation of the National Jazz Museum in Harlem and the Jazz Foundation of America. You can find out more at both of our websites. Uh, we'll be back with this series next Thursday at 2 with another great elder, saxophonist Ted Brown. So join us if you can. Thanks so much. Have a great day.